Hello, welcome back to JP Academy ETAP Master Class. In this session, I'll be teaching you on an amazing three in one feature which will make power system analysis much more easier for you. This amazing three in one feature is known as ETAP three dimensional database and the three features embedded in this three-dimensional database are presentations configurations and revisions i'll take that again presentations configurations and revisions this three-dimensional database toolbar can be found here now this is our three dimensional database toolbar and this part is for the revisions while this part is for presentations and this part is for configurations this part is for composite networks which i have explained in one of our previous sessions so presentation refers to the way we view our single line diagram and new presentations will allow us or will give us the ability to customize the way we view our single line diagram on the other hand configurations are used to change the operating status of elements on our single line diagram while revisions allow us to modify engineering data associated with elements on our single line diagram. In this session, I'll be giving an illustration that will show why we should use these features, when we should use these features, where we should use these features, and how we should use these features. So we'll begin with presentations now like i mentioned earlier presentations refer to the way we view our single line diagram and new presentations will allow us to customize the way we view our single line diagram meaning we can create new presentations in order to create a new presentation we simply come here new presentation and we click on it now create presentation from olv one line view one to one line view two click ok now we have two presentations one line view one and one line view two we can go further to display both presentations simultaneously we click on windows tile vertical yeah and now to see the full power system network the complete power system network we click anywhere on the workspace and zoom to fit page now we can see our full network and now we come to one line view one and do the same thing zoom to fit page now it is important to note that we can edit the name of this olv2 by double clicking anywhere on the workspace and we can see the name we can remove this and put any name within fit so it is also crucial to note that you can only create a new view or a new presentation when you are using base revision Meaning, if you create another revision, you will not be able to create a new presentation. We'll get to that when we start using revisions in this session. Also, adding any element on one view automatically adds that element on all other views or presentations. For instance, we are on one line view one. If we want to add a two winding transformer, We are adding it on one line view one. Now we can also see it on one line view two. 
Same thing applies for any other component. If we delete this from one line view one, it automatically goes out from one line view two. Now, remember from our explanation on presentations, we said it allows us to customize the way we view our single line diagram. Now, let's customize one line view two to make it a little bit different from one line view one. We we'll select all elements and then we we'll right click, go to symbols. Let's change from ANC to IEC. Now, as you can see, the standard of representation for symbols now vary from our original standard. This method or standard of representing symbol is known as ANSI, while this is known as IEC. I also explained this in one of our previous sessions. You can refer to the lesson or send me a message on my number below. It is also important to know that you can change the size of components on one presentation or one view and it will not affect all other presentations or views. However, the most important feature of presentations is the ability to perform different analysis at the same time as well as display different results at the same time. Now, I'll be making an illustration to explain that. Let's say we are currently in one line view two. We want to perform a load flow analysis. Performing a load flow analysis. And now we can see that the results displayed here are not displayed here. We can see the voltage magnitude at each buses, and we can also see the current in amps flowing through each bus bar. However, there is no analysis here. We are still in edit mode on one line v1. Now, on one line v1, we can go further to perform a short circuit analysis. Now, we are faulting all buses. You can see that we have a load flow analysis here, and we have a short circuit analysis here. Having exhaustively explained presentations, we can transition to configurations. So, we go back to our edit mode here. 